everyone, so today I'm going to be filming, as I've said, the three-part series on how to cocoon your hair properly. So the first series um, is going to be me answering all your questions because this has been asked a lot of times. I'm going to answer the frequently asked question. The second video and this is, that is going to come up is me doing the cocoon again on how to cocoon your hair. Just that part, the just the instructional part. And the third part is, I'm going to be bringing in my sister, I'm going to teach her how to cocoon her hair properly, so that, so that you guys can um, see that not only I can do it to myself, but you know, also me teaching another person, which is my sister, to do it all by herself. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, if you are just newly subscribed to me, or you probably, you don't know what I'm talking about, or like how to cocoon your hair properly, I will be linking a video, like, right here, I'm going to put it right here, or it's, it's going to be right here. You can't see it annotating in the screen, it's going to be in the bottom part below, in the description box. Below. So, that is the video that I'm going to be updating. So, let's get started with your questions. Alright, so now to answer your questions, um, number one is water, I'm just looking here, because I'm looking at here because the screen is right here. So, is water necessary? Yes, water is necessary because it is going to damp your hair and it's going to make your hair more manageable. Number two, this really helped me. Can you do it on medium length hair? Yes, I will do it on medium length hair, that's going to be in segment three where I'm going to be using my sister and she has um, medium length hair with layers. So you guys can see how it works on medium hair. Um, can you start the cocoonies up higher to get more curl? Yes, actually we can start a little bit higher to get more curls. Um, are you able to sleep in this look without unraveling? Yes, you actually can sleep with it without unraveling, but however, my advice is it is really best and, I, and ideal that if you put a hair cap on just because you know just to make the cocoon secure at night when you sleep because sometimes when you sleep and if you move around or something like that if you sleep dramatically usually the cocoon would tend to kind of like um, would be thrust everywhere so it's better that they're contained so wear a hair cap or a shower cap number five can you sleep with it Yes, you can. You can actually see it. Um, number six. If you want some extra hold, could you could I hairspray the cocoonies, or would that make it too poofy-ish? Thank you. <laughs> well, poofy-ish. I like that term. Um, actually, it's best if you don't hairspray the cocoonies. It's great if you hairspray your hair after you release the cocoons, like you hairspray your curls. Because if you sometimes if you hairspray the cocoons, they tend to be um, kind of like stiff, and it's very hard for you to um, release the cocoon. So it's better that you hairspray your hair after you release the cocoon. Um, number seven. Anyone else think she sorta of looks like Miranda Crossgrove? I think Miranda Crossgrove is really pretty. It's just that I really don't. I don't think I look like her. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. No, no. Okay, can you keep it overnight? Yes, you can. Does this work if you have layers? Yes, it does. It does work if you have layers, layers in your hair. You just have to section your hair and work within your layers. Um, does it matter in what direction you twist your hair? Actually, you can skip the twisting part. I'm going to show that on the second segment to where you just, you can actually omit the twisting part and you still get the same result. Uh, how long do you keep them for? Okay, how long do you keep them for? It, well, it really depends on your hair because for my hair, you know, it really depends on the texture of your hair as well. Because for me, I have to let it stay on my hair for like about um, five to six hours to get really, like really nice curls. If I want it to be super curly or defined curls, I'm gonna overnight that. If I just want really nice waves, I can leave that for my hair for like about like two to three hours, and I would get that really nice waves. For my sister, if I do it to her hair overnight, she gets these really nice and defined curls. 
but um, it's so stiff, like she gets these really stiff curls. However, um, <clears throat> if I leave it on her hair for like about three to five hours or something like that, her hair tends to have this really nice, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to have this really nice um, curls. So it really depends on your hair. All you have to do is just really experiment because we all have different hair texture. Hey, what do you do between three to five hours? Well, I actually do some interesting stuff like I look at the skies, I hear the birds chirping, I drink apple juice, and um, I type stuff. You know, just the usual. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so are you half Asian? No, I am super Asian. I'm really Asian. But, yeah. So, um, oh my god, that is amazing. How long does it last? And is it possible to make like two huge parts? Um, once again, it really depends on your hair texture. For some people, like for me, if I open up my, the cocoons of my hair, I get like, um, I get long lasting curls and it can last through the, through the next day, till the next day. With my sister, um, her, uh, when I overnight her cocoons, it lasted her for like, three days. It can even last for three days. But once again, it really depends on your hair texture. Is it possible to make two huge parts? Um, you can take bigger sections in your hair, but I don't think you can cocoon like just two pieces of hair like this because I don't know if that's possible. I, I think it would be probably hard. The next question is, can I sleep with the cocoons? Yes, you can sleep with the cocoons. Will it work by getting it wet and doing it? I don't have hairspray. Please enter ASAP. I want to try it. Um, you can actually work with wet hair, just make sure that your hair is not soaking wet. Um, you can let your hair at least dry a bit before doing the cocoons, because sometimes if you cocoon your hair wet, it tends to, like, you know, when, when you release the cocoons, it tends to be straight because your hair is not completely dry. So before you release your cocoons, make sure that your hair is 100% dry. How many hours does it take for us to wait? It actually really depends on you as I've said on um, like before because you have to really experiment because we all have different hair texture. If your hair tends to curl um, quick, quick, then probably after one to two hours then just release the cocoon on your hair. And of course if your hair doesn't hold curls um, easily, you can leave it onto your hair for like three to five hours. Totally depends on you. Experiment with it. I try to do this, but every time I make a cocoon, it falls out because my hair is really smooth. Any tips? So, this is where the damping part comes in. I cannot stress this enough, you have to damp your hair. Because if you don't, it's hard to manage your hair if you don't damp it. And by damping your hair, it's going to add some texture, and it's just going to hold your cocoon, your cocoons better. And um, your curls are going to last longer if you dab your hair. Um, does this work with curly hair? Yes, it does, because um, there's this one girl who contacted me. She's like, oh, have a look at my blog, and she just posted her, her results there, and she has curly hair, and I was like, wow, this technique is actually versatile because it works both on straight and curly hair. How can I avoid the knot? on my cocoon. So basically sometimes, okay, the key here is, right, so you cocoon your hair like this, right? Now, all you have to do, once you get here, so you insert this, make sure that the hair, the tip of your hair is visible and it can be seen because if not, you will not be able to release your cocoon. So make sure that this thing is sticking out, like the hair like from right here is sticking out because if not, that's going to cause like knots in your hair. Because this is the only thing that is going to release your cocoon. Okay, so that's just it. And your cocoon is released. So I hope that answered your questions. And um, part two, 
part two is coming up, so yeah. One more thing, one more thing. They said that, can you just please start it up from right into the roots? Is it possible to really start off to the roots? Or on like really top of your head right here? Um, basically, unfortunately, you can't really, um, you can't really start from the top. However, you can start from probably right here, but you can't curl it up until here. Advice everyone, if you're gonna sleep with the cocoons, you have to have a hair cap so that they stay in place. You know, they don't just like go. <laughs> How long do you keep them on for? <clears throat> Make two huge parts, like a, you mean cocoon set? Like only two cocoons? Am I getting this or not? Oh, you do that with layers. Yes, I've explained it. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Hi, dog. So, on the next segment, it's gonna. Oh, there's a be Okay, on the next seg. <laughs> okay, on the. On the next. <laughs> I hate these. Okay, probably I don't hate this. It's just like, why do they have to do that? Why do you have to interfere when I'm filming? Okay.